Hey guys, James Sane here. So the question is, can you use Rodecaster to improve your live Zoom audio calls or Skype or however it is you're doing your online communication or teaching? Okay, so here we are doing a Zoom meeting with a, uh, a webcam plugged into it's a logitech hd i'll go into the model because i certainly don't recommend it and i'm using the audio with the webcam so this is the least desirable of all in my opinion with your zoom calls let's take a look at another setup okay and so here's an example of recording with the blue yeti microphone now it's a great improvement uh, as compared to um, audio from a laptop or say audio from a Logitech or any webcam. Um, so much better than that. We will try to improve upon the Blue Yeti with a free software that you can download so that you can tweak. Uh, you can do changes in compression and equalization that you set up prior to beginning your call. Um, but this is just straight Blue Yeti. It's a USB a condenser microphone. One of the nicer things compared to a dynamic microphone, you can adjust the gain depending on depending on what room. You need a relatively quiet room because it will pick up more than a dynamic microphone, but you could increase the gain and then you can sit back. Well, I didn't increase the gain here, but sometimes uh, if you're teaching a class, you it, it depends what you're doing. If you're moving around and doing things and you can't stay right on the microphone. Um, but this is what audio sounds like with the blue straight straight out of the Blue Yeti. Okay, and so here is an example of using the Blue Yeti microphone. It's a basically a USB condenser microphone. But in this example, to improve the quality of the Blue Yeti, um, there is a free software that you can download and use a virtual audio cable in conjunction with the Blue Yeti that you can set up your audio mixing before you start your class or before you start your conference to help improve live classes or live uh, conferences with the Blue Yeti microphone. Because that's the goal here. I want to improve the audio quality so that the, in my case, so that the students are having a good experience and they're not focused on poor uh, quality. They're not focused on poor, uh, poor audio quality, poor video quality, just the subject at hand. So this is an example of the Blue Yeti microphone with the virtual cable from, it's a voice meter, and I'll leave a link to the video below about how to set up the voice meter. So yes, you can use the Rodecaster to greatly improve your audio quality on your Zoom call. So here is an example of the Rode Procaster mic in conjunction with the Rodecaster audio mixer. So there's been no post processing done to the audio. So the goal is to have great sounding audio while you're live teaching your classes or on conference calls. So all the mixing is done through the audio mixer. So let's take a listen with it turned off, so this is with the audio mixer turned on through the Rodecaster Pro. Okay, and so here is with the audio processing turned off through the Rodecaster Pro, so basically just using the condenser mic to record. Oh, I'm sorry, not a condenser mic. This is a dynamic mic. So the Blue Yeti is a uh, condenser mic. The Rode Procaster is a dynamic mic. Um, so yes, if you're forced to do your teaching or your conferences or your conference calls with the audio from a laptop or the audio from a webcam, you know, it's just, it's not going to be high quality. So the Blue Yeti is certainly a step up and especially the, the Blue Yeti, cause it's only about 120 bucks, and especially if you combine it with the free, the voice meter, and then you set your audio, tweak your audio, and get it right before you start your call. That's a very relatively inexpensive uh, option to have great sounding audio. If you have a Rodecaster, you might as well use it. Um, it can even improve beyond the Blue Yeti with the voice meter so that you sound as professional as you can. It's nice to have the best sounding audio on the conference call 
nice to have the best video on the conference call or if you're teaching um it, it's just it was it's new to me i mean some people some of you may have been teaching online for years but it's new to me and i want to minimize uh the distractions as much as possible to maximize the learning opportunities for the students all right guys thanks so much if you find the videos helpful hit the like button it would greatly help my channel and consider subscribing to the channel and if you do turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out all right guys thanks so much and we'll see you on the next video thanks